All right, guys, we are getting ready to do Tom Sock section. And it is hunting season, as you can see. Orange, orange, <laughs> orange. <laughs> and there is quite a few vehicles here, so. We are gonna do the play of the guessing game. How many people do we think we're gonna see on trail? I was originally thinking before we started this, three. Oh. But now seeing all these cars, I'd say 12. 12. Nine. I'm, f I'm only gonna bump it up to, to seven. <laughs> I don't wanna go any higher than that. I don't wanna see that many people. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we are going to get going here. Well, we're only probably like a mile. 15, 20 minutes in. Caleb says a mile. His watch went off. So, and it started to rain a little bit. Um, it is dark over to the east. And it does look like it's raining pretty, pretty actively. So. Let me go ahead and put your camera up. They're putting electronics away. <laughs> that means you're going away. Bye. <laughs> well, it was really nice when we started. After I did put away the camera and everything, we got hit pretty hard with the rain. We made another mile and decided to set up the tarp, have a little lunch, kind of wait it out. But man, it is windy. Well, we are back to the Volvo. We forgot some keys. Well, Ben forgot some keys. We forgive him though. He might not forgive himself, but we forgive him. It happens. So, a little change of plans. You know, we got three miles in, hiked three miles back, and now we're going to move to a different part of the trail. Well, we are at the Goggins Trailhead, but we're actually going to be walking this way back over to Johnson Shuttons. The plan is to go camp at the Black River uh, campsite. It's a real nice spot. Camp there before with my sister, and uh, found that spot through Spiffy Guys videos. Um, Hoping that that's going to be a little bit more protected from this wind. Because it is cold. And a little, a little drizzly. Oh no, we're going to cross it today. Oh, you want to cross it? The campsite's on the other side. Uh, really? Yeah. I know the site on this side is pretty good. There's a better one? Yeah. Oh, for real. Well, it's 4.17 and we are at camp. Uh, we're at the camp that I originally wanted to make it to, but we didn't walk as many miles to get here. Um, basically, we went to John's Shuttons and walked the trail, the blue trail, all the way down to the Ozark Trail and then crossed the Black River and up in the woods is this lovely camp. So I will show you guys around. We got our little fire pit there. 
and get ready to cook some dinner. And Caleb and Ben are down at the river getting some water. That is Ben right there. I'm in my hammock and then Caleb is right there. They are both in Fly Creek ULA, or not ULA, UL2's Platinums. Caleb has a newer version or updated version. We just trying to compare them, um, but I honestly don't think either one of them are the HVs because they got the, the the different pole in the back, which neither one of theirs has that little straight up part. See there? No, that doesn't doesn't gonna go straight up. And they are both actually doing the fast pitch on theirs. And Caleb's doesn't have that pole there. But either way, they're both both platinums. We know that much. Um, I got my ha hammock gear, Cuban fiber tarp, and then I am using my Wilderness Logic 15 degree under quilt. It's the three quarter. And the 15 degree top. And this is the Dutch gear hug half bug net. Going up to some whoop slings. But, anyways, it's time to get some food. And then probably get into. Into the tent, or into the my bag, into the hammock, because um, it's cold. Uh, we started out today, and it was like 70 degrees, and then we had that rain, and the temperatures just plummeted probably down to like 50. It's probably right now in the 40s, and I think it's supposed to be mid 30s tonight. I'm not too sure. But I should be toasty in that 15 degree set. So, catch you guys later. Well, good morning, guys. That was a good night's sleep. Um, I woke up around 1.30, looked at what time it was. Next time I woke up, it was light out. It's uh, currently like a little bit before 8. It might even be 8 now. Who knows? But it uh, got the little fire going. Caleb's up now. Ben's still asleep, <laughs> and uh, it's time to make some breakfast. Um, I don't think it got as cold as we were expecting it to be. I don't know, I was expecting it to be frost outside and everything, but it's not, so. And it's a beautiful day compared to yesterday. So, it's a... Uh, 9.40 and we are leaving camp heading up to Tom Sock. That's a beautiful day. I've said that before. But I'll say it again because yesterday was crap. Well, there was a little bit of ice on a leaf down there. Um, should be a good day. Alright, folks. <laughs> We just spotted some boar, some wild hogs. So we're proceeding with caution, but also trying to get the shot.
Just wanted to drop in a little update on on the hike. We've seen uh, <laughs> way more people than we thought we would see. Um, what was the total up to now? I had stopped counting. Was 13. 13? I was gonna say at least. Not including the people at the uh, shutter. Okay. Okay, yep, so Ben says 13, which goes over all of our estimates so we all lost <laughs> or we're all winners because we're all out here hiking on on the Ozark Trail well guys we're here at Minnesota Falls there's the top of it it also cascades quite a bit before it you know does some bigger cascades but it is the tallest waterfall here in Missouri not really flowing, we'll go up there and check it out. Get a little closer. Yeah, well, there's usually a puddle here where I'm standing, but there isn't one today. So, yeah, the water is pretty low, but it's still pretty. You know, you guys should check it out. Anyways, we got some more climbing to do to the top. We ain't gonna stop till we get up that hill. We're done, Robbie. You gotta carry us back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're almost to the summit. We just gotta push hard on this last leg, and then we'll get there. <laughs> I'm feeling a little nauseous, guys. It's the altitude, it's getting to me. I'm, getting, I'm a little dehydrated, a little lightheaded. Robbie, are you feeling okay? I, oh man, I am not, I'm not feeling too well. Come on, man, you can make it. We're almost there, almost. Oh my gosh, I can see the plaque, I see the summit. I don't think I'm gonna make it. You can make it. I don't think you I can, can make it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Come Thank on, you, man. You got it. Oh. Make it to that highest point. Yeah. <laughs> my 50th summit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Is this it? Oh boy. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> 